So on the other subjects, the constitutional agreement, in 2002 there was a constitutional agreement between the Church, Orthodox Church of Georgia and the state. Um, signed. It's part of the Constitution. The question was about the legal force of this um, uh, concordat. It, is, uh, uh, it has the same force as the Constitution because, again, it is part of the Constitution of Georgia. It is a supreme act uh, the same way as the Constitution. Um, I can tell you with full responsibility, uh, being at that time one of the authors of this concordat, that there is no provision anybody in the world can cite in this concordat, which is meant for discrimination of the others, or which is giving any privileges to the Orthodox Church. It just defines the two things. One, division of the state and church. Uh, in those early ages of our democracy, that was very crucial in importance, especially keeping in mind the historical role of the Orthodox Church, having a clear line dividing state and church from each other. And two, it's about the non-interference of either parties in their affairs. These are two main reasons or two main uh, um, lines um, in, the, in the Concordat. And it never talks about any other religious groups uh, in the country. It never discriminates anybody against. It never says any word about uh, its privileges towards the others. That's on the one, uh, one side of it. The other part, uh, and I believe that the other members of the delegation will talk about it even more in details, about the um, uh, changes in policy of the current government uh, towards the uh, religious minorities and equalizing them both in financial and legal terms uh, to the uh, Orthodox Church of Georgia. Um, thank you.